What's going on guys? So I just got in the new fragrance from Authenticity Perfumes called Suede Mist. Have not sprayed it. I haven't pulled it out the box yet. It's still sealed as you can see right there. I haven't cut the tape or anything. And uh, I've had several of you in the last week ask me about this fragrance. Well, here we go. We're going to get my first impressions on it. I haven't looked at any notes. And uh, actually, might as well get situated because Sonny did actually send me a snapback. So it's my style. Good looking hat. Love camo. Appreciate you, Sonny. So let's get into this fragrance. Stay tuned. <laughs> So those of you that aren't familiar with Authenticity Perfumes, they only do 50% oil concentration, so their fragrances always last. Uh, the fresher ones tend to have pretty good projection. The heavier ones just have a strong sillage. Um, I'm assuming, I saw a little bit of the top line of the notes. I want to say there's like lime and I want to say fig in there, something like that. Obviously suede because it's in the name, but... Um, cause Sonny had shared the post he made in our private conversation on Instagram. So I did see that, but I haven't seen the full note breakdown. I don't know what all is going on in here, but based on the little bit I saw, I'm thinking it's in the realm of a blue fragrance, which if that's the case, I'm going to love this stuff. It might immediately like skyrocket into one of my favorites from the house. I'd love for this to focus. There we go. Suede mist, red and yellow. More crimson and yellow, really, like Terrebonne Tiger's colors. It's actually that maroon, deep maroon color. Shout out to Terrebonne Tiger's, my high school. So let's check this out. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, hey. Sprayed a little bit right off the bat. Very fresh. Something a little kind of musky about this. Cloves. It smells like clove is in here. There's a lot of freshness, but there's a lot of dark, almost animalic tone to this fragrance. This is not what I was expecting. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I'm just not sure yet, but it's not what I was expecting. Like, it's a little animalic and spicy with the citruses. Like, I get a bunch of citrus up top, but it smells like clove, some darker nuances, some more animalic, almost earthy tones, but more animalic than earthy and spicy. This is not what I was expecting it to be. It's a pleasant surprise, actually, because I was expecting not necessarily generic blue fragrance, but I was thinking more mass appealing blue. This has a lot, a lot more going on than I anticipated, and I mean, my... My hand is coated. I don't know how well that's going to pick it up. There you go. Big giant. Like my entire top of my hand is just oil. 50% oil concentration. It does have a leathery smell, but it's almost like a little smoky clove spice. Like there's a lot more darker nuances to this fragrance than I thought. I thought for sure. Yeah, obviously suede would be in here, but even with mist in the name and the little bit of the top that I saw on the post with citruses and stuff like that. I thought this was going to be much more fresh and blue overall, but this definitely has, it's a little aromatic, but it's got this animalic spicy tone to it. It's a little smoky. It's a little leathery. It's either clove or, or it could possibly be like a tobacco. That's a possibility, too. It's got a little bit of a tobacco smell, but it's also got a little bit of a clove smell. I feel like I'm being confused a little bit by this fragrance. Because I could be way off, but it's got this, this brightness, which is due to citrus, and nothing's really standing out as far as citrus. It's got this smoky, animalic, spicy tone, kind of engulfing the fragrance. It's got a clove, tobacco kind of smell going on here. Which makes it strange. Because this is an odd blend. I've never smelled anything like this before. So kudos for the originality and the creativity. I gotta say. This is different. This is very different. Very different. I don't want to pull the notes up just yet. Because it is changing. There's a lot of nuance to this fragrance. 
I want to say I remembered seeing fig in the little bit I saw, but I don't distinctively smell a ton of fig. There's a juiciness to it that could be what's helping with this watery, bright citrus smell, but I don't know. I could be mistaken. I'm pretty confident I saw fig was in the notes in the top, that one line I saw at the top. Definitely got a nice woody facet to the backdrop that's starting to come out a little bit more, but like I said, it's got this clove, spicy, animalic tone, tobacco-y, earthiness. I don't know. Let's let's pull everything up. As a matter of fact, let me let me pull it up from my phone. Okay. Suede mist. Here we go. 40 bucks for 60 ml before you use the discount code that I will put down below. Let's see. All right, I'll put it up on screen for you guys so you can read along with me. Suede Mist Parfum is a masculine fragrance for the sophisticated modern man. Top notes of lemon, lime, and fig. Okay, so I did see fig in there. Bergamot, apple, and cassis, which cassis is basically like the leaf of the uh, the black currant plant, so a little bit of the tart fruitiness. So I don't distinctively get any one of these notes in the top, but I do get this juicy freshness. So that's got to be what it is. Excite the senses and set the stage for the richness and complexity that is to come. Heart notes of lavender, there's your aromatics. Marine notes, ozone, you would have fooled me with all of that. Cyclamen, kind of an aquatic floral. Anise, okay, there you go, there's darker edge. Chamomile for chamomile tea. It's a little bit of an herbal feel. I guess that kind of makes sense. Pink peppercorn, there's a little spice. Tobacco leaves, okay, so tobacco is in here. Jasmine, lily, and clove. So I wasn't confused. I did smell clove and tobacco and clove and tobaccos in here. Simmer over the fruity accords. Finally, base notes of suede leather. I mean, that's obvious in the name. Smoky sandalwood. I don't know if I've ever smelled a smoky sandalwood. Cedar patchouli orris. I don't get any orris. Frankincense. The smoky sandalwood and frankincense. Give that, that's what's given that smokiness I was talking about. Black amber, musk, Oak moss and guyac wood, which is also giving some smokiness, add a sophistication to the experience. This fragrance has 50% oil concentration, is guaranteed to last 12 hours or more. So I, it's a confusing fragrance to me, to me personally. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm falling somewhere in the middle. I'm trying to figure out how far in the middle to either side. I like it. I don't love it. I don't love it. There's recent releases that I like more than this one. Obviously, I still love the Summer Vibes line. Love Clean Musk. Still surprised at how much I like Clean Musk. Tobacco Boss is actually on my rotation table to wear at some point in the near future, whether it's in the next few days or the next few weeks, but it's it's going to get in the rotation at some point. It's on the rotation table. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like there's so much going on here that this fragrance doesn't completely know what it wants to be. It's got more, as this, I think the more that the citruses fade, the better this fragrance will be because there's so much heavier, dense, and darker components to this fragrance that if there was less citrus at the top, maybe without these marine notes or any of these, this, like there's too much freshness in my opinion to go with all the edgier, darker tones. I feel like less of the citrus would be more to complement the heart and dry down of this fragrance because the heart and dry down are extremely interesting on this fragrance. Because the more it settles, the better it is getting. No doubt about it. It is getting much better. It still maintains a little bit of a juiciness, but it's subsiding. The woods are really coming out a lot more now. It's creamy. It's not really powdery. Like I said, I don't really get any of the auris. Smoky, yes. It's got this spicy tone. It's edgy, leathery. It's getting better and better. Like I, I'm trying to hold off on giving it a rating because I feel like the rating's slowly climbing as it dries down more. That's getting much better. Don't get a lot of amber, though. Let's look at these notes again. 
Patchouli. Okay, yeah, I'm getting that. But there's a lot of woods here, but a lot of dark darkness to the woods. I don't really get much oak moss. Gaiac wood, smoky sandalwood, and frankincense. What an interesting combination. Smoky sandalwood. I don't think I've ever come across a fragrance that told me it had smoky sandalwood in it before. It's definitely smoky. And that's what's winning me over. It's getting smokier as it dries. That's what's starting to win me over more and more. Not a huge fan of the opening on this one. I gotta say, the opening's on the subpar side, so I feel like there's so much going on, pretty much too much going on in the opening, that it needs to settle down to really start to paint the picture for you. Because it's kind of like, picture a canvas, okay? And the opening is literally taking two paint brushes, dipping it in two different colors of paint, and just going... <laughs> and just splashing it all over the place like it's all over it's all over it doesn't know what it wants to be yet and then you start to kind of take your time and refine and paint the picture that you really want people to see make it a bit more a, a bit less abstract and more refined overall that's kind of what the heart going into the dry down is i know that's an interesting way to explain it but that's how i visualize and interpret the way this fragrance is composed i feel like there's too much going on it's all over the place in the opening, but as it starts to settle, it becomes beautiful. It's getting much, much nicer. A bit more on the earthy side, but it's not really dirty. There's a creaminess. It's very smoky. The spices are kind of in the backdrop. It's very leathery at this point. It's a musky suede tone. There is musk in here. Suede accords overall tend to have a little bit of a musky, leathery smell to it. I think... Because the opening dried down for this one and settled, if I was to rate this on the opening alone, it would have got like a 5.56 at best, like an average good type of thing where it wasn't bad. It was just kind of all over the place. But as it dries, it really helped that, that rating climb to where I actually think it's very good now that it started to dry down. I think this is a 7 out of 10. This is one that you have to have a little bit of patience. And not a long, um, not a large amount of patience. Like literally, if you can give it five, even ten minutes to let that opening blast kind of calm its ass down. That's the thing. It needs to calm its ass down because it's all over the place. And when it settles, starts to settle, it becomes something quite unique and lovely if you like smoky, animalic, leathery, and musky. Because that's pretty much the main things I'm getting here. Yeah, it's just getting better and better. As time progresses by the moment, it's getting better. A lot of smoky, leathery muskiness. It's. I was worried at first. I was worried at first. But it got really good really fast. Well, that is my initial impressions of the brand new Suede Mist from Authenticity Perfumes. This one kind of took me for a ride in this short amount of time. It's been recording for 13 minutes, 13 and a half minutes before any editing or anything at this moment. And it's been an interesting journey through aroma in this short amount of time because it's changed that much. And I know it was kind of interesting the way I described this, but that's literally how it came to me and that's how I interpreted what I was smelling from the opening blast even to this point as we speak now which it's magnificent in the dry down. The early dry down too. I mean, like I said, we're less than 15 minutes into the life of this fragrance and it has gotten drastically different and drastically better from the opening blast. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you tried this already? I know I'm not the first person to get a bottle of this. I'm very curious on you guys' thoughts on this one. Do you love it? Do you loathe it? Do you fall somewhere in the middle? Do you feel like I feel? Is the opening kind of all over the place and a bit confusing for what it wants to try to be? And then what it actually ends up being, do you really enjoy? Because that's kind of what happened here with me today in this video. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Suede Mist from Authenticity Perfumes and give it a spray now, might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.